What's up, y'all? Forward with Fabian, man. I'm back again with a video for the channel. I'm actually doing a reaction to Fox News. Today we have Jason Aldean blasts cancel culture at concert. He says it's BS. Outnumbered panel discusses Aldean speaking out after attempts to cancel him over his latest song. So this is from Fox News. I did a reaction to Jason Aldean's, um, you know, the small town record. Uh, you know, it's getting great response on my channel. Uh, you know, obviously my perspective on it was it wasn't really out. It wasn't really ludicrous in the sense that people were saying that, that it was. Like it was pretty much people were jumping out the window to jump out the window. Uh, I know a lot of people commented on the video, you know, uh, had their own perspective to each their own. You know, to each their own on how they look at it, perceive it. But um, I don't think he was really pushing a negative narrative. But if you're new to the channel, man, subscribe to the channel. We're going to hop into this reaction. Uh, if you want to get familiar with all the different forms of content I drop, go to the playlist page on my channel. It's my whole library of reaction videos. Additionally, if you want to recommend content, comment down below. Peace, love, prosperity, man. Let's get into this video and see what um, Fox News got to say. Country star Jason Aldean is not backing down. The singer responding to the controversy surrounding his song Try That in a Small Town at his concert over the weekend in Cincinnati. It was his first performance since CMT pulled the music video for the song. Aldean slammed cancel culture and professed his love of country. As he his should. His fans seem to have his back. I feel like everybody's entitled to their opinion. You can think, you can, you can think something all you want to, it doesn't mean it's true, right? So. What I am is a proud American. I love our country. I want to see it restored to what it once was before all this bull started happening to us. <laughs> Bro, a lot of BS has been happening. <laughs> you gotta you gotta be specific. You know? That's why people that's why people run with the narrative of uh Trump's Trump's whole slogan, make America great again, right? I mean, we're in a we're in a day and age. I kind of see what he's talking about. We're in a day and age, bro. I said this in the last video. People are too sensitive nowadays. You had like people are walking on eggshells. People are trying to be too politically correct with what they're saying because this cancel culture, in terms of like you said, one one false move will get you out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it it doesn't really make sense to me if this is like the land of the free. You know, home of the brave, essentially, you know, free speech is allowed, standing up for what you believe in, you know, that can go to a certain extent. You know, I'm not saying take it too far, but a lot of those, a lot of those values have been lost. I'll tell you that right now. I love my country. I love my family. And I will do anything to protect that. I can tell you that right now. music fans rally like I've never seen before and it was pretty bad to watch I gotta say thank you guys so much <laughs> Joey what do you think about this bro it wasn't even just country music fans it's people all over the world that was able to relate to that piece you know Aldine you gotta look at the fact that the America is actually rallying together behind you it wasn't even just country you know, a lot of people from the small town background, you know, in terms of the story that you pushed in the music, were advocates. So I think it was a crazy thing to see because a lot of people are saying we're finally coming together. And they're talking about minorities, people from different ethnic, racial backgrounds. We're finally coming together. Uh, and I, I, I would say I did see that in relation to this one song, which is kind of unique in its own. Has this never happened before to where different racials and cultural backgrounds can agree on something i wouldn't say so but this this kind of did it in a different way um is the world changed now no <laughs> there's still injustice there's still racism that exists there's still people that have a certain perspective that ain't gonna change but um i think holistically a lot of people from different backgrounds really you know jumped on board to support and push this record well, number one, I think Jason Aldean needs to quit explaining and just keep singing. That's what I mean. I'm not saying anything he said was wrong, but don't explain yourself. If you make half the country mad saying something, you can only make the other half 
mad by apologizing or explaining it. So, you know, I, I hope he feels I hope he feels supported and it looks like he does, not just from his fans, but from other people in country music. And I say that because I worked for Zach Brown for four years. Now that has said nothing to do with politics. I'm not ascribing politics to Zach at all. We worked together on veterans and he was a mentor to me and taught me business and all kinds of things. Zach wouldn't have a career today as one of the biggest country music acts in the world if he hadn't bucked the system and stood up to Nashville and stood up to the country music takeover from LA. All those Sony and all those uh... I gotta cut him off because I didn't like what he said at the beginning to just stop explaining yourself and just saying I mean uh, that's your perspective buddy just in the same breath that you said if you explain yourself some people gonna like it and hate it you singing the song some people gonna like it and hate it him explaining himself it don't matter people gonna like it and hate it regardless he can do what he want he can say what he want he got his own platform and I push him expressing expressing himself now is everybody articulate in the sense that they can express it so strategically and to where it, it, it appeases i guess your perspective N maybe not so, so that's why a lot of people want to put artists in a box just sing just 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 be an artist just do that you won't need you doing anything else you don't cross over into politics man uh, scratch that man scratch that artists have such a platform to where essentially they can revolutionize so not to say that's all Dean's lane, but what I'm saying is, bro, no, nobody's going to tell me to be quiet. If I got a voice, I'm going to use it, especially if I feel like, you know, one, an injustice is being done. Uh, this is part of the PC. They want to shut you up already. Uh, just just keep singing. Don't worry. Up. No, bro. I'm not going to keep singing. I'm going to say what I want to say, and I'm going to say it freely. You know, uh, I just didn't agree with his first comment there. Like, I... Don't tell Al Dean to just keep singing. If he want to stop his show for five minutes and talk to the fans, that's what artists do. You know, they build that rapport. They break down the walls with their fans, their communities. If you're breaking barriers outside of music, that's saying something already. Uh, Big Machine came from L.A. into Nashville, took it over, and created these puppy mill song writing rooms where you get six writers together. You what, give what them are a you list talking about now, like bro? Campfire, blue jean, pickup <laughs> truck. It used to be Bud Light. They've taken that out because they're smart. And you give them these words and you say, go write me a song with three different melodies and we're going to give it to the next a 21 year old, we're going to make a star overnight and then abandon because we're going to make money off of them. Country music, pop country is a puppy mill of music. For someone like Jason Aldean to write a song like this, he bucked that entire system. There's layers to why this isn't accepted. And uh, for CMT, there's an executive there that's also over at Cumulus. Friends of mine at Cumulus have been told, hey, don't touch this. This is a concerted effort, and, uh, and I'm glad he's pushing back against it. Wow. And it's interesting because we saw um, last year an attempt of to cancel Morgan Wallen by sort of that corporate structure that failed yeah. miserably because the fans rose up and essentially said, we are not buying into this attempt. It's a whole different scenario, bro. That's a whole different scenario. You see how they pick and prod, they'll take things and uh, Morgan Wallen's situation was completely different, bro. <laughs> That's not the same thing at all. Morgan Wallen admitted to, I mean, obviously we know the story about him using the N word, you know what I mean, in, in, in a vulgar sense, but he was under the influence. He said he didn't, that's not what he believes. He's not from that. He's been brought up better than that. He admitted proudly to doing that. I mean, not proudly, excuse me. He admitted just to doing it. He was honest about it, but he actually was accountable. He took accountability. The Aldine situation is clearly people accusing Aldine of doing something in his music that he ain't do at all. They're canceling him for no reason. Not similar whatsoever. And despite his lost. music being blacked out, they still put him at number one on the charts consistently. And what's interesting is, you know, critics are arguing that's ascribing a narrative to what the song means that isn't even what the song means at all. It is not deserving of any kind of, of cancel culture, let alone any type of pausing. Or contempt, you know, that's what you're hearing, I think, from the left about this. And I just have to say, look, my whole family's from this tiny town of 4,000 people in Western North Carolina called Spruce Spine. <laughs> and let me tell you, we're, we're proud, we're <laughs> proud and proud, and I see absolutely Shout nothing Spine, wrong baby. with that. You know yeah. why? Because if you're invested in something, you make it better. That's right. And that's what I like mm -hmm. to see. Because yeah. USA, that's, that's right. what we all are. Yep, those are my pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> that was politically correct. <laughs> uh, you see how the fake it. smiles in the last, bro? I call out all the, I call all the fraudulency out. Cause USA, that's what we all are. It's just, it's so, it's so, it's so clean slate. It's so politically correct. Well, we gotta say this because, uh, bro.
Let's live in reality, man. Come on, man. What you said. Because it is right where, where you said it is. Don't apologize and don't explain. When you go to those crowds like Cincinnati or wherever you're going to be and people just surprise you with how much support they have in this moment, say thank you, I love you, God bless you, let's rock. Because mm -hmm. he, he doesn't owe anybody anything. He should he's, do concerts in those towns that were burned. That's what he should do and see who shows. That's what he should do. It's so quick to say how you, you should do this. Why don't you do it, buddy? People are so quick to tell another man what to do. <laughs> Wow, well, he should. Don't say anything. Well, y'all are reporters. That's what y'all would do. Y'all have to be politically correct. Artists don't play by those rules, ladies and gentlemen. They do not. He could do that, too. Everybody and and for, I haven't seen his schedule. We don't, I don't know where he's going. Maybe you do. But my point with this is we are one great nation. No matter where we go, he should have support. Mm -hmm. No matter where he lands, he should be surprised by how much support there is. And you cannot convert those who don't want to be. So if, if they're in your <laughs> crowd already, they bought a ticket, I wouldn't worry about trying to preach to them. That's right. They're already in the house. Right. And they may become a little bit more on your side once they hear all of the music. Or maybe they just went out of curiosity. Whatever it was, you win. And the message, Carly, I'm I not love even, my country yeah. <laughs> under the flag. I love my this family. This is why I watch news that and part stuff. Of the attempt at cancellation? Because Cause these guys have to follow an agenda. You know what I mean? They can't go outside of the lines or the boundaries. I've never played by the world's rules, me personally. And as my platform grows, I'm not going to be PC, politically correct. I'm not going to say things just to appease people's ego. I'm not going to just shut up because you know, mainstream America want me to shut up. <laughs> like some people are meant to stir things up, bro. Not to say that's me, but what I'm trying to say is I'm tired of people having to walk on eggshells. Let's throw that out the window. Oh, you're on thin ice, buddy. We're going to cancel ya. Man, if you is that message right this now? This video well, stirred me up, man. Because, and I think it was probably really cool to be in the audience and then, you know, hear everybody ch chanting USA. It must have been very cool for him to hear yeah. all those thousands of people uh, saying that because um, he was standing up for what he believed. He wasn't apologizing. He was, uh, he was, you know, skirting around the issue, but everybody knew what he was talking about. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I keep on thinking about when it relates to this topic is, this shouldn't have this should have been a non-issue the second the production company came out and said we didn't know the history of this courthouse or what, what happened there because of course they didn't and everybody on Twitter that was talking about the horrific history didn't know about it until 30 seconds yeah. before when they read a tweet exactly. that said it uh, so what about all it, those other movies and shows that had been filmed exactly right. I think there was a Hannah Montana movie film yeah. there some like Christmas movies as well uh, so to me this is less about the song less about the music video and more about the fact that he is an open conservative which is like the sin of all sins yeah. according to some people in Hollywood that's and I guess point. in country music as well yeah, why is it that you you can't chant USA at a country concert that that brands you as evil know. but you're I supposed to at at the the whole food. now they're not even talking about nothing like <laughs> that's aside from the point y'all I don't know I'm not sure everybody's gonna have their comments comment down below on what y'all think um, everybody's gonna have their comments in terms of their perspective we're all individuals we all think differently we all raised differently different backgrounds um if you're open to learn and understand where people are coming from then we can have a decent conversation but picking and pride and point a well you should have done and you could have done and everybody's an individual bro the way you see it is not how al dean see it you know and obviously not how people at cmt and the what they call the leftists see it you know what i'm saying so it's just it, it's nonsense bro what are we really even talking about here <laughs> What are we talking about? I'm still riding with Al Dean. Um, I'm still supporting the music. I'm still supporting people being uh, free in their perspectives. Obviously, if you're not shaming or tearing down people, we don't want to degrade or hurt people. Um, if you think you're doing something in the right, you know, do it. You know, if you believe in it that passionately, that thoroughly, then do it. But obviously, any negative connotation, association, we're not rocking with it. But that's not the narrative here. We're not seeing any real negativity. People are really twisting what has been presented and trying to portray it as such. You know, it's not. You can, 
that's all I got to say about this at this point in time. Check out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below y'all's thoughts. Like the video. Always engage with the content. Check out everything I got going on in the description of the video, man. Peace, love, prosperity. God bless y'all. We'll catch y'all guys next time, man. We out.